Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is apparently um, Wednesday, uh, November 13th, 2024. Let's find out what do we have today for the economic calendar. Wedge, um, wedges price index in Australia uh, at the same level of 0.8%, a little bit lower than the forecast of 0.9%. Uh, European Central Bank non-monetary policy meeting starts at 9 o'clock. Bank of England MPC member Mann will give a speech at um, quarter to 11. Then we have the German 10-year Bund action at 11.30. And the major releases of the data are from the USA during the uh, US session core CPI and CPI uh, data. As you can see, CPI is expected to uh, stay at the same level of 0.2% on the monthly measure and on the uh, on the yearly measure, uh, it's supposed to jump from 24 to 2.6%. Then we have some speeches from the FOMC member Kashkai and Williams, and then we got the uh, EIA short-term energy uh, outlook for all of the uh, crude oil uh, traders. Now this data is scheduled for release at um, 6 o'clock. At 8 o'clock we got the federal budget balance release and API weekly crude oil stock data release at half past 10. We'll close the uh, Wednesday uh, in terms of the data uh, releases. So that's about the situation with the data. Let's find out what's going on on the charts. We start with the Euro dollar. Euro dollar for our chart is doing exactly what uh, what it's supposed to be uh, doing according to our scenario right now we're testing the uh, level of uh, 1.0602 uh, we broke below this level already the low is 1.0594 and we are heading towards this target here uh, at 1.0571 uh, as a per hour um, ABC uh, cycle, corrective cycle um, uh, uh, scenario. So this is the next target, 1.0571, despite the fact that the, the momentum is already extremely oversold, there is still uh, quite a uh, nice chance, big chance that the spike down uh, will actually hit this uh, level. Why it is so important? Maybe not not important uh, that much. However, uh, if we hit this level 1.0570, then the length of the wave A measured from the top of the wave B would be exactly the same as the, as the wave um, wave C length. So that might be very nice market geometry um, uh, level, which is why. It might work very nicely uh, for the uh, for the uh, as a projected target for the wave C, basically. All right, uh, let me just remove a couple of levels because we don't need this one uh, that much. Um, those levels here, of course, are now the resistance because the price is way below uh, those uh, levels. So right now, uh, apparently, the market is approaching the uh, yearly. Uh, yearly lows on the euro the dollar so the US dollar is supposed to be getting uh, stronger across the board let's find out what's going on then on the US dollar index <clears throat> uh, US dollar index let me just find out there you go US dollar index is of course very very strong across the board right now we are uh, um, approaching the level of 106 now um, we even broke above this level 106.18 is the local high for today made into the extremely overbought conditions so it's not that it's not that uh, uh, bad at all. Um, uh, when we take a look at the daily time frame chart, we can see this uh, line here, the trend line that has been violated and the market keeps moving uh, higher. Let me just mark on a daily time frame chart the uh, resistance levels, which are the target levels. There you go. 106.10 is the uh, technical resistance from the uh, from the June 2024 and the other technical of course resistance is 106.46 
and this level is from uh, May 1st, May, two, May 1st, 2020. Uh, for, so for now, it looks like a very big bearish divergence between US dollar index price and the momentum indicator. However, the market is trending very, very uh, strongly. We might see some profit taking, we might see some resistance and in um, more volatility uh, due to the best um, engagement when we hit 106.46 uh, level, if we hit this level, uh, of course. So if the US dollar index is up um, and the euro dollar is down, what is going on on the crude oil? On the daily time frame chart, we are out of the channel. Yeah, you can see it right now. And on the four hour chart, you can see it clearly that uh, we are just we are trading just close to the 67.75, another um, very interesting daily level, daily support. Nevertheless, it looks like the market wants to go to 66.34 and even 66.72 uh, level, despite the fact that the market conditions are extremely oversold and are bouncing right now from the uh, from this uh, kind of uh, um, uh, conditions, uh, technical resistance 69.74 and eventually 70.69. So after the breakout out of the channel, the market is trying to approach the, the lows. This is the low from the October. Yes, this is October low. Uh, um, October to, to 2024 low. So if we get here, the situation will be uh, very, very uh, simple. The crude oil will hit the um, lowest level since the uh, October 1st. So that's uh, more than six weeks. But we need to hit, of course, this level and even break it, right? So crude oil going lower. What is going on with the uh, gold market? The gold market on a four hour chart going lower. Uh, right now, uh, we are below the 2,605 technical support. We've made a new low, 2,589. Let me just mark it for you so you can see what is going on here. There is a technical support here, right on. And now we are testing this level as we bounce from that extremely um, oversold conditions. We got bullish um, divergence here between the momentum and the price, of course, of the gold. So it's a time for the a uh, slight, uh, slight bounce, a slight, um, uh, slight correction. So we should see some sort of the, um, uh, let's say, uh, maybe not relief rally, but some sort of the correction of this recent movement um, to the downside on gold. It should go up um, on the euro dollar. It should go a little bit up as well. Uh, whatsoever the US dollar index should go lower because it's in the extremely uh, oversold uh, conditions and everywhere we look we got this bearish divergences on the four hour chart uh, and on the daily time frame chart as well so now the last but not least the Bitcoin and that um, that um, there you go that divergence is now gone <laughs> basically however uh, it's still pretty uh, pretty nice um, technical chart. The um, the movement to the upside was so quick that we we, we have to leave the 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 other levels uh, behind and let's just focus on this uh, almost um, almost uh, vertical movement to the upside. Ninety thousand uh, and um, thirty one dollars is the high all time high swing high and the local high that will act as the technical resistance. Now, uh, the support is of course uh, ras roughly around the level of 85,000. So we got 5%, almost 5% um, decrease here uh, or like a correction because, mostly because, let me just take a look here, uh, because uh, we've made, uh, yes, 5.40% uh, uh, decrease because we went down from the extremely uh, over bad conditions to the level of 70 and even a little bit below during this dip. Now the market is consolidating the recent gains. So there, there, there are visible um, uh, knots from the upside and knots from the downside. And that's why uh, we might uh, see some sort of the price action here uh, looking very, uh, very different than, uh, um, than this one, for example, because they might look like this, um, this price action is undecided, right? So the, the market participants are undecided. Nevertheless, uh, the next target is still located at $100,000. So please stay focused, uh, stay 
say um, Vigilant as the momentum is still strong the market is definitely rallying and we should see the resumption of the uptrend soon that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys um, tomorrow of course take care guys and bye bye